aliens had to do it. The Daily Mail says the Pentagon's secret UFO data retrieval program Immaculate Constellation revealed for the first time in new whistleblower report. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The, the lid has been blown off. The Pentagon's got aliens in the books. I'm half kidding. Let's read and, and talk about aliens. A secretive Pentagon UFO data retrieval program has been hidden from congressional oversight since 2017, a new report claims. Whistleblowers assert the program, codenamed Immaculate Constellation, was established to detect and quarantine the military's best UFO imagery, as well as its best videos. Eyewitness testimonies and electronic sensor evidence. This trove of high quality multi-sensor UFO data is so tightly held that talking about it will put you in the danger zone, according to a U.S. official who confirmed the leak. Oh boy, this is getting fun, huh? The quite literally above top secret program allegedly sprang into action in the wake of the 2017 leak of three still yet still as of yet unexplained U.S. Navy infrared UFO videos. Pentagon spokesperson denied the existence of the program Tuesday evening, telling reporters the Department of Defense has no record present or historical of any type of special access programs called Immaculate Constellation. Oh, boy, man. Well, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm going to give a quick shout out before we, we go a little bit too further into uh, our show, which we're going to have up for you tonight. Tales from the Inverted World on YouTube. Check it out. Subscribe. Shane Cashman later today. For those that are watching live, not today, but on Sunday, we'll be talking about this live with guest callers, various stories of the weird, the wild, the mysteries. So check out Tales from the Inverted World on YouTube. But let's keep reading. They go on to say. By law, classified programs like SAPs must be disclosed to the so-called Gang of Eight, which includes the chairs and ranking members of the House and Senate Intelligence Committees and other key lawmakers. However, the source of the leaked report, who supplied the document to the independent news site, The Public, uh, Public, not, not The, described the program as an unacknowledged special access program or USAP with unique secrecy privileges. Reporting in defense publication Jane's Defense first revealed the existence of USAPs decades ago showing that government officials were authorized to lie publicly and deny their existence. How about when we had, um, who was it? What was it? Was it Clapper who lied about NSA spying? Maybe not. Who am I for- I'm forgetting the guy's name. Is that it? Was it Cla- I don't think it was Clapper. I don't know. But yeah, they lie about this stuff all the time. Is the NSA doing mass surveillance on the American people? No. Psych. Public's anonymous source alleged that such depictions were now occurring on the issues of non-human intelligence and unidentified aerial phenomena. The executive branch has been managing UAP and HI issues without congressional knowledge, oversight, or authorization for some time, quite possibly decades, this anonymous whistleblower wrote in their report to Congress. Check this out. An excerpt for the 2000 issue of National Security Magazine, Jane's International Defense Review, in which reporter Bill Sweetman first made public the existence of unacknowledged special access programs. International cover is supported by two mechanisms inherent in the structure of unacknowledged SAPs that result in the dissemination of plausible but false data or disinformation. Confronted with the unauthorized use of program name or a specific question, an accessed individual may deny all knowledge of a program, as he should, because its existence is a core secret and a mere no comment is tantamount to confirmation. The questioner, who may not be aware that an uh, accessed individual must respond with a denial, will believe that denial and spread it further. Look at this stuff. That's wild, dude. The whistleblower who claims to have have authored the report to Congress described the Immaculate Constellation USAP as a strategic intelligence program and only one part of how the U.S. military currently deals with its UAP problem. Yo. UAP problem. If proven to be legitimate, the program would show those now infamous Navy UFO videos known as the Tic Tac, Go Fast and Gimbal to be just the tip of the U.S. government's UFO data iceberg. The multitude of wavelengths collected by these sensors have captured UAP characteristics that are difficult or impossible to observe with the human eye alone, according to the leaked report, allegedly intended for cleared members of Congress. Subtle atmospheric effects associated with UAPs are also visible through the sensors employed by the U.S. military and intelligence agencies, the leaked report added. The verifiable chain of custody for UAP 
IMINT, meaning high quality imagery intelligence collected by U.S. military assets, the report continues, ensures a high level of confidence in the accuracy and integrity of the data gathered. This alleged leaked classified report to Congress also described an incident in which a swarm of orb UFOs surrounded an F-22 stealth Raptor, forcing it off course. The F-22 broke trajectory and attempted to evade, according to the alleged report, but was intercepted and boxed in by approximately three to six UAPs. One, this is unidentified aerial phenomena. One maneuvered in proximity with more than 12 meters to the area directly starboard of the cockpit, as this whistleblower report described the pilot's testimony. There, the UAP established a rigid spatial relationship with the F-22, maintaining its exact position and orient orientation parallel with the F-22's cockpit, despite multiple evasive roles and maneuvers. Dude, could you imagine being a pilot and an orb locks on and is just tracking you and you try rolling and dodging and it doesn't leave? That's crazy, dude. Look at this. Flying saucers. What? I don't believe this. Come on, really? The whistleblower's report is said to make reference not just UFOs, but to ARVs, short for Alien Reproduction Vehicle, meaning successfully reverse engineered alien spacecraft. Above, a page from the U.S. Air Force's Project 1794, which was declassified in 2012. They're legit saying they got UFOs that they've rebuilt them. I wonder. The thing about a saucer that I find interesting is they could just be quad rotor or octorotor vehicles. You see a saucer in the sky and you don't know how it flies and it moves so quickly, but maybe it's just like, uh, you know, quad rotor. Or maybe it is utilizing some kind of centrifuge of some sort. Don't ask me. I'm not a physicist. The whistleblower whose identity is being tightly held for his own safety, according to the public, believes the purpose of the USAP is to hide such amazing encounters. In his report to Congress, the source described Immaculate Constellation as a means of enforcing internal information security, capturing new UFO reports before they are observed and circulated within military intelligence enterprise. A second source, a former U.S. intelligence community official, confirmed the authenticity and existence of Immaculate Constellation to public, stating that program is run out of SECDEF, Office of the Secretary of Defense. They don't want to acknowledge it's real. This intelligence source opined they won't comment on it. The source also noted that the simple public utterance of the name Immaculate Constellation would be sufficient to trigger government surveillance of those who publish it under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Well, not me, because I'm an American citizen, right? Right? Hey, guys. They're already spying on me, I know. But it's funny because, you know, people are like, aren't you worried? There's So we have we, we don't have them anymore, but we used to have like Alexa. Uh oh, sorry for saying it. And people are like, aren't you worried you got those spy devices everywhere? Or they're spying on your phones. And I'm like, dude, I go live four to I, like, it, no, it's five hours a day. I say literally everything on my mind about what I think about everything. The only you know, you know, what they're, you know, what they're going to hear if they're spying on me on my phone. They're going to hear me say something like I ain't taking monocrypt out of my deck. They can ban jeweled lotus all they want. And most of you are like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Exactly. And then they're going to hear me say something like, uh, I'm going to sacrifice two spirits for two red, tap four, and I'll, I'll cast capsize with buyback and uh, bounce it. And uh, then I pass turn. That's what they're going to hear from my phone because when I'm not doing this, like we're literally just compiling stories or editing or uh, I'm like, you know, playing magic or something. We play quite a bit. Anyway, they say they enforce the secrecy with a lot of vigor. While still unproven, the explosive claims surrounding the alleged Immaculate Constellation UFO program collection echoes comments made very publicly by very senior former U.S. intel officials. I think some of the phenomena we may be seeing, ex-CIA head John Brennan told reporters in 2021, results from something that we don't yet understand and could involve some type of activity that some, say might, con some might say constitutes a different form of life. Interesting indeed. Well, this, this, this year has been rife with historical... Uh, unprecedented moments. We'll call it that. Historical precedence. I mean, look, two hurricanes, maybe a third now, right before an election could change everything. Two assassination attempts, one where Trump actually took a bullet, grazing him. Fortunately, he survives, right? We're, we're terrified of this stuff. But the, 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 the I mean, look, the, the entire past several years have just been a spattering of what we would call interesting times. 
If they were to come out and just be like, ah, aliens are real, here's proof. I'd be like, oh, yeah, how about that? That's the conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theory is that they are trickling out this information on UFOs so that finally when they say, yes, it's real, everyone will go, we knew it. Because if they just come out now and say it, people could be shocked and it could cause economic chaos. But I'm going to wrap it up there, my friends. If you haven't smashed the like button, I question why. Check out Tales from the Inverted World on YouTube. This is a show about weird conspiracies, wild Bigfoot. What do they got? Occultists in Hollywood. You've got avoiding FEMA camps, camps, cymatics, clouds and cryptochrome, worshiping false prophets. Tales from the Inverted World with Shane Cashman. It's going to be live Sunday uh, starting at, I, I think, I think the 6, 6 p.m. Hopefully I'm not getting that wrong, but uh, check it out for sure. If you like this, uh, this segment for everybody else, we'll grab a couple super chats and then sign off. Thanks for hanging out. Follow me on X and Instagram at Timcast. Become a member at TimCast.com. We'll see y'all then.